the war between Israel and Hamas entered its 30th day. The number of Israeli attacks on the besieged Palestinian Gaza Strip is increasing day by day. Bombing was done at the beginning of the war. But now the ground operation has started there. Since the start of the war, the Israeli forces have attacked 2,500 structures in this region of 2.3 million people. In a report on Sunday, November 5, Al Jazeera, a Qatar-based media outlet, reported this information. The Israeli military, IDF, has given the latest information about Israel's attack on the Gaza Strip on Sunday. They say that Israeli forces have attacked 2,500 structures in Gaza. They are still fighting directly with Hamas there. On October 7, the Palestinian independence organization Hamas launched an unprecedented attack on Israel from Gaza. Israel continues to bomb Gaza in response to Hamas attacks. The Israeli army has started a large-scale ground operation there in the midst of continuous bombardment. 9,500 people have been killed in Gaza by the Israeli attack. Two-thirds of the victims were women and children. In addition, another 22,000 Palestinians were injured. Israel attacked 2,500 structures in Gaza 1.5 million Palestinians are homeless to escape the Israeli attack apart from this. 1.5 million people have left their homes in Gaza and taken refuge in different places to escape the Israeli bombardment. Last Friday, November 3rd. UN Assistant Secretary General and Palestine Human Rights Coordinator Lynn Hastings said that the number of displaced people in Gaza is now 1.5 million. About 7 million of them have taken shelter in hospitals, churches and schools, including various institutions of the United Nations Refugee Agency UNWRA. Former U.S. President Barack Obama called for a neutral view of the ongoing war between Israel and Hamas. At the same time, criticizing the way this war has been portrayed on social media. Obama said that neither side is innocent. The former U.S. President said these things in an interview given to the Save America podcast on Saturday, November 5. Obama said that the attack by Hamas on the Israeli community on October 7 was terrible. But now what Israel is doing with the Palestinians is also intolerable. He said, in order to take any constructive initiative on the Palestine issue, we must first accept that there is a complex situation prevailing here. It is not as simple as it seems from the outside. What Hamas has done is terrible. There can be no logic behind their actions. But it is also true that what is going on against the Palestinians now, the way their land was seized earlier, is intolerable. Before taking office as U.S. President, Obama made ambitious promises to resolve the Palestinian-Israeli conflict. However, he could not do that despite serving as president for two terms criticizing Israel's crackdown